But I mean, I look at the previous manager here, Jose Mourinho now, I mean, currently in, in Italy and he will converse in many, many languages. And our, our players are privy to it sometimes, sort of the press conferences, especially around the European games where you would have press teams, not just from the UK covering it, but you would have Spanish, German, French covering those. And the ability of a manager, someone like him or Carlo Ancelotti, to be able to converse in the language that journalists ask the question in, I think is just amazing in, in regards to it. And, and I mean, an example stands out to me a few years ago, a, a player that was came through the academy here and was the first team is now at AC Milan for Kaya Tamori. And the way he developed, his, he went to Italy and he really took it upon himself to develop and learn the language and now converses his press conference in, in, in Italian now. And uh, I mean, he's an example of, of current players who've now joined there. So someone like Ruben Loftus-Cheek, I'm sure, is following that same path in regards to developing his ability there. So they're just a couple of them. And I mean, it always surprises me sometimes as well, because there will be players here who maybe speak another language and don't mention it very often. And then they will just come out with it sometimes in in sessions that you're running and and it, there's that wow factor of, of that's a skill that we di- I didn't know, we didn't know that you had, and, and, and it's great. And that, that boosts them in regards to their confidence element of it as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of players here, someone like Cesar Azbalaqueta, who, I mean, was the club captain until he left us this summer. But I mean, I was amazed re- reading about him this year. Now, he was awarded... Um, um, uh, qualification from Harvard Business School where he'd studied in English. He studied a qualification in English, so came to this country, really engrossed himself in in developing and understanding that language and then actually studying a formal qualification in that language as a go. It goes back to what I mentioned earlier on. It's challenging yourself and actually proving to yourself and developing that that self-discipline, that motivation, that intrinsic motivation is crucial in this industry. Mm. 